Win? Are you kidding me? Uh, Wake Forest, really good program. Coach Forbes and his staff do a tremendous job. They're, um, credit those guys. Um, they just kept coming. They, they just played with great poise. Um, coming from behind double digits, you know, on the road early in the season, the place was rocking, and, and they just kept coming. Um, I'm glad it ended while we were up top, you know, while we were in front. But um, very thankful, um, you know, to our crowd, especially folks that don't normally get to basketball games and maybe here for another reason. And, um, and appreciative to them, and they're always welcome. You know, so hopefully we can continue to build on this. And um, thought we played way more connected than we did earlier this week. So I was, you, you're happy about wins, of course, but a lot more proud about um, the significant growth tonight. I was going to ask you, Coach, what do you think you learned the most about your team with this win tonight? Um, We got a little fight to us, you know. Um, probably most, probably more than anything, um, we're a lot harder to guard when the ball moves. You know, when, when we uh, play for us and, and we move it and we get our shot, and uh, we had to get those uh, those those jitters out a little bit. And uh, I think our guys took a took a step backwards and a deep breath and said, you know what, let's uh, let's have some carryover from how we play in, in practice and. Um, we had some really good possessions. We got to have more, of course. We got to keep getting better, and Wake will keep getting better. We all will at this level. It's so early, but um, we made a big jump and um, played um, much better offensively. Yeah. Mike, what's it like to see Jabri have back-to-back -back consistent games, minutes, points? Uh... Happy for him. Um, you know, he's a guy that uh, with his, this is his fourth year, third coach. Um, so he's had he's had adversities that he's had to overcome that most guys uh, don't have at least as much of different systems. Heck, even the way we're playing this year compared to the, the way we played last year is completely uh, completely different. Um, and he's he's just grown. You know, he's um, he's got leadership characteristics. He's mature. He really cares. Uh, he cares about winning. He cares about being a good player. He's in the gym as much as any kid I've ever coached. And it's no wonder he's turned himself into an elite shooter. The offensive and defensive flow did seem considerably better in this game, but then there was the end, right? Uh, yeah. Is that just learning to win? Mm -hmm. uh, what what did you think about the finish? They obviously shouldn't have had that good of a chance to, uh, to extend the game. Yeah, they, they shouldn't have. Um, and we've got to go back and look at it, and there's, there's some things. I probably could have done a better job with, and, and we all could have done a better job with, and that's something that we preach to our guys. It's, it's about all of us improving. And um, I thought more than anything, I thought our mentality changed. I want to say we were up maybe 14 and missed the front end, jogged back, gave up an and one. Um, that that sense of urgency, um, and you're playing. Sometimes your 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 home crowd. Um, I hate saying this because I don't want fans getting mad at me, but it's just it's, it's the truth. Sometimes it can be a negative because you, you rely on them, and it's so loud, and you feel like, well, hey, you know, it's a party in here, and the, and the game's over. It's not over. You know, this thing's not over. We we got another whatever it was, eight nine minutes to finish, to get a few more stops, uh, to continue to execute with momentum offensively and tempo. We lost our tempo down the stretch again when they kept uh, chipping away at that score. It was almost. Um, we were almost shell shocked by the by their play late, uh, but there's there's a lot to learn from, and um, unfortunately, yeah, we've got to watch it and clip it up, and we got to show it, and we've got to learn, and we've got to move on very very quickly because we play uh, on Sunday. Seemed like an improvement on the glass, obviously not coming out on top, but what did you make of the play of Jalen and, and Russ tonight? Collectively, really good. Um, Russ was, was so much better, and I thought we did a much better job when he was open giving him the ball. You know, the ball, again, was a lot hotter. It, it moved for us. Um, he had a couple of deep duck ins. He had a couple that, that I think he'll finish you know, as, as he gets more of those looks. Uh, he finishes in practice uh, that he didn't quite finish. You know, the stat line could have looked a little bit better, but I loved his aggression with getting deep touches and the way we, we threw him the ball. Um, just a much better job of, of 
of throwing direct passes, you know, from those those slots um, from our backcourt. And then Jalen Deloge, I thought, was terrific defensively. Rode him um, uh, down the stretch. Uh, he did some really good things. Just great activity, I thought. Got us some extra possessions. Uh, got some deflections. He just uh, a hard playing guy. They're, they're, they complement each other real well. And I think there's times where we can play them together, of course. What was your impressions of the students in this new configuration? Um, you know what? It, during the game, I'm just I'm, I'm on us and Wake, and um, I I had a couple people make mention after the game how an incredible student section was and where they were sitting, what a factor, and I'm just I'm really appreciative to them and to our administration during the game. I didn't exactly you know evaluate it. Um, we got our hands full with other stuff, but it's just it speaks to the commitment to um, you know for success. Uh, in all walks here at, at Georgia, when um, you know when when the athletic director and the president ask for any type of feedback, and, and you sit there and have a conversation about what do we think about reconfiguring where people are sitting, let's look at it, let's evaluate it. I think it's a good idea. Let's do it. And you got to jump through the, through some hurdles to do stuff like that. But if you feel like it's going to help that particular program have a better chance of success, why not? And so. Um, and credit our administration. I'm, I'm thankful. Hopefully, uh, everyone that's sitting in a different seat uh, than they're normally sitting, uh, they're okay with, and uh, they like that we got some stops at least, got a couple rebounds. <laughs> in, in a game of runs like that, what do you learn about your team being able to withstand, you know, Wake making a push, and, and then you know you guys doing the same? That we've got to, I mean, we got to learn how to win. You know, um, I'm glad we won, right? But there's again a lot to learn. That could have gone the other way, and so we're fortunate. Um, I'd rather learn this way than it having gone the other way. But um, to make sure you hold on to leads like that down the stretch, we're going to have to 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 fix that level of urgency. We're going to have to learn how to uh, to play forty, you know, to put forty together, and that and that's that's a tall ask at, at this level, this early, you know, maybe, maybe 35 is what you're looking for right now, but of really good basketball. Uh, but the best teams, of course, the, the teams at the top of our league by January are, are gonna put teams away, of course. Uh, we'll all, uh, we're all going through a, a process right now to, to learn ourselves, but we got, we got ways to go. And again, Wake's, Wake's really good, and, and they've won a lot of games for, for a few years here. And uh, they'll continue when they'll win a bunch of games this year. And they'll be a lot better in January than they are right now. Can I one more question? Uh, yeah, Chiwa uh, drives the basket a couple of times, has a fast break. Oh, yeah. Dunk Russell. Uh, what do you think about his play? And We've seen some of that in practice. You know, didn't really get it going the other day. Um, he, he can really, he's, he's 280 and he can really, really run. He can really run. And I, I thought we just simply did a better job I get it to him when he's open. But he was just one example. I thought when Melendez was open, he got the ball more often tonight. When Silas Demery was open in the corner, we threw it. I mean, we just we did just a, did a better job of um, playing together, um, which gave gave us a chance, of course. Did the, the way the ball stuck the other night, it didn't give us much of a chance. But Oregon is an elite defense, of course, too. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you. Thank you, guys.